Hi guys, I'm Jessica from How Sweet Eats, and today we're gonna make a slow cooker coconut hot chocolate. So we have our slow cooker ready. I'm gonna add truly all of the ingredients right to the slow cooker. We're gonna let it cook for about two hours. The key is though you kind of wanna whisk and stir it like every 30 minutes or so, just to make sure that everything's like melting together. So I have four cans of full fat coconut milk. Okay, we got our coconut milk in our slow cooker. Next is the sweetened condensed milk. This is really important because we don't want to add straight sugar because it might like, I don't know, get gritty on the bottom, get grainy, it might not fully dissolve. So adding the sweetened condensed milk will help thicken it a little bit, but also ensure that we don't have like that gritty sugary feel. Now that we have both milks into the slow cooker, I'm just gonna give it a quick whisk to get everything combined. That coconut cream will start to like break down with the heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. I'm gonna add some coconut extract. If you're really not into coconut, but you're fine with the flavor of like the mild coconut milk, you can skip this part. We're gonna add some vanilla extract as well. Then we're gonna add a good heavy-handed scoop of Dutch processed cocoa powder. And we're gonna add all of this chopped chocolate, which is like crazy. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna stir everything together. And don't worry, as the slow cooker heats up, it will all start to melt and come together. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the whisk and kind of whisk it together now that everything is getting combined. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like Christmas. It smells like winter. Okay, so we still have a couple like chocolate pieces and cocoa lumps in here, but the key to getting that to all like meld together is to cover this and let it cook for a little bit. We'll take off the lid and then continue to whisk it up. While our hot chocolate's in the slow cooker, I'm gonna go ahead and toast up some coconut. This is what we're gonna use to rim the glasses and it's so, so good, so fragrant, so delicious. Okay, so this coconut's only gonna take like a minute or two to toast up. You wanna make sure that you keep an eye on it the entire time, because it can go from golden to burnt in like a second. We're gonna go ahead and just put this on a plate so we can dip our mugs in it when we're ready to serve our hot chocolate. I'm gonna take our glasses and rim them with like a little bit of honey. You really just need a sticky substance. You can use frosting if you're crazy. You can use maple syrup, you can use anything, but you just wanna rim the edge of that glass and dip it in the toasted coconut. So we're gonna take the lid off our slow cooker, whisk it around once or twice, and then ladle it into the mugs. Look at how steamy and wonderful that is. This is like the perfect consistency. It truly is like sipping chocolate. You do wanna leave a little bit of room at the top of the mug, because of course we're gonna add marshmallows and whipped cream, I mean. We need more sugar. Okay guys, so this is how you make the best slow cooker coconut hot chocolate. I really hope that you guys give it a try. 